I'm not sleeping yet because now it's only about 8.13 p.m. Yep, 8.13 p.m. I gotta wear my shades because it's so dark. You know, I gotta wear shades and it's dark as fuck. So it's time to be racist and whatnot because I love it. I met a black man, I uh, forgot what's the YouTuber in Malaysia, is the African. I should have asked him whether he has a big black African cock. Because it's huge, cocks are big, big black African cocks are huge, huge as fuck. Oh, ah, now it's better, it's, uh, it was so sunny, very sunny just now. So as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Fuck, oh yeah, uh, yeah, uh, did the Sony thing, the experience, good stuff, good stuff, except for the slight, what they call, a jab by... Uh, Mr. I think his name is Ross Lee saying that uh, what they call 4K is people from what I get from his first few minutes of being on stage is full HD if you are still full using full HD I mean of course we will care yet if you're a professional videographer and if you are still using what you might call it full HD then you're a noob, you're an asshole, you're a fuck face. Of course, I'm uh, I'm mangling his words, but what I get from there is uh, kind of like an insult to people who use full HD. That's me. It says that oh 4K, oh my god, if you're still using 4, I mean you still, if you're not using 4K, that means you are a derp. 4K existed since 2000 and what? I'm not sure. 2013, I think. And now it's 2017, it has been 4 years, you should have adopted it by now. If you are a professional, if you are a professional, that's a very important thing to take away. If you are a professional, if you do not use 4K, you are not a professional. Of course, uh, it could... Uh, the bell rang. Uh, I had to open the door. My ribs are still hurting. God damn it. The back of my ah fuck it. <sighs> so it was an insult, kinda, and I felt uncomfortable indeed from hearing it because, of course, I'm not a professional, so why would I care? The reason why people are still using Full HD is because it's fucking cheap now. You wanna buy a 4K? Fuck man, it's expensive as fuck. Of course, if you are, if you are a professional, then well, you should put where, the money where your ass is or something mouth I think uh, I mean I have seen people like at events using still the compact cameras and I know that they don't have 4k capabilities and the maximum is of course uh, 720p if they are lucky or if it's a newer compact camera it's definitely 1080p well at events videoing yes on a tripod somebody did that I mean, whew, it's cheap, okay, compact cameras, 1080p cameras, it's cheap, 4K cameras, fuck no, it's expensive as fuck. Uh, let's see here, uh, Mar Mark 5, Mark 5, the, you know the camera, the Sony camera, RX100 Mark 5, the newest one, that shoots in 4K, but don't bother with it, because it gets so hot. In 5 minutes time, it stops recording because it gets hot. It's a safety feature. If it gets too hot while recording in 4K, well, it'll stop its recording. So if you are like holding the camera and not looking at the LCD screen, and you just continuously video, well, and suddenly there is a moment that you want to capture, and you look at your, your camera, and suddenly the red dot which indicates that it's recording is gone because of heat issues. Of course, you can feel it, the heat, around your uh, fingers, your right fingers, because the unit, the right side of the unit of the Sony compact camera, the RX100 Mark V, I think it's a compact camera, I'm not sure. It's definitely a mirrorless camera. Uh, when you feel the heat and it stops recording by itself, I've experienced it in uh, in the curve, the Sony store. So 
if you really want to do vlogs or continuous videoing in 4k don't go for the sony rx100 mark 5 mark 5 is the newest one it was launched i'm not sure a couple of months ago or was it yesterday or today no i've uh, tested it about uh, less than one month ago so i think it first came out a couple of months ago um, malaysia is kind of like slow in terms of getting its new products from sony or for other brands so what was i saying what am i lambasting sony i love sony products i had one i bought one a compact camera when i was in new zealand back in 2011 of course it's shot in potato potato cam uh, uh, quality that means it's 480p can you imagine back in 2011 480p oh my god the pictures are so grainy so so what should we call it so so blurry it's not like 720p or 1080p it's just so so unprofessional as Rosley would say uh, just imagine 480p you are redoing in 480p in 2017 that is super unprofessional it's like being the hand of satan in hell you're not professional enough so you are you are uh, thrown into the depths of hell so sony event great i love it except for the rx not the rx the alpha 99 why put it in a Put it with a bloody lens, the huge lens, the lens that you see in the F1, F1, uh, what should we call it? If we events, the photographers they'll have a tripod just for the camera, and the camera has a long, big lens, and oh my god, it is so heavy. It's as if it's filled with sand. I was, maybe it is filled with sand because it's lens, right? Lens is made of glass, and glass is made from sand, so. It's quite inept. Is there such a word as inept? It's inept seems to be the wrong way to use. It's quite uh, true that uh, it's filled with sand. It's heavy. I wouldn't say it's filled with metal because metal is even heavier. But it was very heavy. Well, actually, it's as if it's filled with sand and metal. Because the outside of that lens, that huge lens, it seems like it's made of metal the 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 outside body i think it needs to be metal because you drop that motherfucker if it's plastic it's gonna break or crack if it's metal and you drop it definitely it's still be okay it won't crack but it will be it will be dented by the impact of the lens on the floor what the fuck am i saying why am I talking about all these lenses? Why am I talking about Sony events? It was a great event. I love this ex Sony experience in uh, in Intercontinental Hotel. Although that being said, the food could have been better. Yep, the food could have been better. But love, I love Sony. Sony is great in event in terms of events because in Malaysia they are very very proactive in letting the public. Yes, the most important thing is letting the public, not just for the fucking media people, the exclusivity of the Sony products should be shared amongst the media people and of course the normals or as I call it, normies. So, Sony is great in letting people experience their products. It's a good thing. Sony is very good in its public relations, the PRs and whatever you call it. It's just... What the oh god uh is very very good in that term panasonic in terms of uh, camcorder or cameras panasonic is thumbs down very bad nothing at all panasonic is like more into the beauty products into like cooking kitchen wear beauty products as i said earlier hair curlers and stuff in uh, one utamba and and other places they have all those fairs and it's really really opened up to the public which is good uh, Panasonic is good when they have influencers or pretty girls to like try to spread their gospel or the greatness of their products yeah Panasonic is great in those terms but I as a man I do not go and I do not need a kitchen set I do not need a stove I do not need beauty pro products and I do not need a hair curler because I do not have hair 
So Panasonic is great if you are a wifey or a girl. So go with Panasonic. They do not do their camcorders. They do not promote the camcorders or cameras at all in Malaysia. That's why Sony is the best. And the second best in terms of proactively promoting one's product is maybe Canon? No, not Canon. Olympus. Ah, the last event I went to Olympus was promoting their OMD Mark II, I think it's called. A great camera, but a bit expensive. 8,000 ringgit. 8,000 ringgit, man. Fucking hell, that's expensive. That's close to 2,000 US dollars just for the body. Just for the mirrorless body. The OMD Mark II. OMD Mark II. Yes, it's the naming of one's product is very important, but sometimes it's just ridiculous. OMD, what does it stand for? Oh my dick. Yeah, OMD, oh my dick. Something like that. Or something like, oh my god, OMG or something like that. <sighs> Please, just name something like the, the, the Olympus Phoenix. Yes, Olympus Phoenix. Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. Don't give it a uh, what to call initials OMD, STD, DAP, UMNO, AMNO, or some uh, Triple K or KKK, Ku Klux Klan. Don't give it some initials that's so hard to find. It's like having a product line, uh, a many series of products in your company akin to the number numbering uh, pr given to the Jews when they were Holocaust by Mr. Hitler so just give it a f friendly name like a f the Phoenix the the blowjobber series the the dildo dildo series dildo 1 dildo 2 dildo mark 3 something like that it's just give it a name that one can attach to something like handsome mark 1 handsome mark 2 or something like a long name no, you don't need to be one word it can be three words or something like I have a big dig mark one or I have a big dig mark two or I have a big dig mark three easy to follow names and memorable names for your cameras that's very important don't name me like OMD mark two or OMG mark two or OMF mark three or LMF mark five LMF stands for lazy motherfucker and you have lazy motherfucker is a Hong Kong band and if you haven't heard of heard of them go and search in the YouTube uh, it's called uh, Hum Garling H-U-M K-A-R L-I-N-G three words Hum Garling that means motherfucker or something like that and LMF stands for lazy motherfucker <coughs> it's a great song it's a great rap song of course it's in Cantonese so unfortunately it's going to be lost lost to you or lost in you is it lost to you how do you use it the words that are coming out of my mouth you'll be lost for words or you can't think of what they are saying because you don't understand Cantonese so why am I talking about products and stuff and I'm gonna need to fart <laughs> oh thank you very much it's better out than in right as Shrek would say so what was I saying? Yes, the the what do you call this video is not about products or the Sony experience, which I love. I love the Sony experience. It's great. Pretty girls. Oh my god, Intercontinental Intercontinental Hotel, which I uh, went today. Whew. Girls are pretty. The models. There was one that took my eye. It was the one with the sports bra and, and it's called Caucasian. Oh my god flat chested deliciousness you gotta check it out oh I shot her with my uh, with my regular full HD camera which denotes that I'm uh, non-professional and a derp and an asshole and a noob and I shot her with another camera because the models came on stage twice same old shit but twice same same uh we call attire same costume the sports bra oh my god flat chested oh so delicious and the face is so cute and young 
Oh God, I think she's Pol Polish or Russian. Oh, enough about that. But uh, what was I trying to say? Uh, oh uh, yeah, I shot it with my unprofessional camera from uh, from JVC. It's uh, numbers GZ E one hundred. GZ E one hundred. Yeah, as I said earlier, I'll reiterate again. Please give your products a friendly name. Don't give it a fucking like robot's name or like K two S O or C three P O or uh, D I L D O. Don't do that. Give it a friendly name like the Vagina. Yeah, Vagina Mark One, Vagina Mark Two, Vagina Mark Three. Don't give it a GZ E one hundred. As if it's gonna roll out of my tongue, like as if I'm a robot. It's, we are not robots, okay? We need some friendly name to our products to make it more humanizable, or as I say, more relatable. We will love our products more if it's something more human. Let's say a camera is named Samantha. I, I will, I, yeah, Samantha. I will love it more. If I call it Samantha, oh Samantha, I'm gonna use you to shoot porn. What was I saying? Uh, ah yeah, I besides using my unprofessional GZ E one hundred camcorder, which I've been using for three years now, or more years. I also had a chance to use the, uh, what's it called? RX one hundred Mark Four. Yep, I used that one to shoot the pretty Caucasian girl in sports bra. Oh my god. So maybe I get, ch get a chance to see her twice. One in full HD, unprofessional full HD, aka 1080p, aka 1920 times 1080. And I shot her twice. Uh, the second time I shot her with the RX100 Mark 4, not the Mark 5, which is the latest one. Mark 4, or was it Mark 3? I'm not sure. So I grabbed the nearest camera and I put in my SD card, which is is a class ten U one. If it's a class, if it's a U three, then that's the fastest SD card. You can you can like record into uh, record data into the SD card as fast as possible. So my one is uh, just a U one, so it's the lowest of the U's. Uh -huh. So I slotted my SD card into the RX100 Mark IV as soon as possible and asked one of the minders how do I uh, put the uh, toggle the, the buttons into 4K and quickly 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 then uh, just in time to capture her so young looking I, but I know she's over 20 years old because well I could only dream about her in legal terms and not in uh, what do you call not in breaking of the law terms so very very cute girl very very cute so one is in 1080p and or full HD and one is in 4k when it comes to 4k I can't convert it into numbers because I don't have a 4k camera therefore I do not know the numbers at all the numbers uh, meaning 920 times 1080 that's the the numbers associated with the number of pixels. I'm not sure. Uh, 4K is roughly about four times, or is it two times of 1080p? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's two times the 1080p. Ah, fuck it. I don't care. So one is in 4K. Hopefully the 4K did record, and uh, you get to enjoy it with me because. Uh, some girls are very, very. They are so beautiful. It, I mean, it's it's a crime not to like, like capture the moment. You know, cameras are, are to capture the moment, even with or without their knowledge. Yeah, it's called voyeurism. And uh, what better thing to do than to share it with the universe? Don't just keep it in your secret folder. Share it with the world, man. Beauty is important. Beauty is forever captured in film. We don't care whether the original host is dead or very old. Film, videos, they will live on forever in digital form 
or in celluloid. Look at the films. Look at look at beautiful Leia played by what's her face? Carrie Fisher will forever be fappable if you watch the Star Wars one not sorry Star Wars episode four, five and six. We don't care whether she's very old or not, or six feet under. She is still usable, fappable material thanks to the films which immortalized her forever. Ah fuck! What am I saying man? This, this Wheelock sleep is just too harsh. What I wanted to say is nothing to do with the Sony experience, nothing to do with big black African cocks, nothing to do with girls who look very young but is indeed old and uh, of the legal age of being what they call that word being consummated with or consummated by consummate by uh, intercost yeah they, they are it's legal to intercost with them i'm not talking about the sony experience which i love i love the sony experience it's great shit it's the best the Panasonic, I'm not talking about Panasonic, I'm not talking about cameras or cooking wares or kitchens or beautiful influencers or whatever I've, uh, whatever English that came out of my mouth. Of course, my English can be grammatically in error. What do, do forgive me. Okay, do forgive me. I'm just tired. Came back from Intercontinental Hotel because of the excellent, excellent Sony experience. Lovely. I wasn't talking about that. This video is not about that. The video, this video is because I wanted to highlight Facebook. I always go through the Facebooks. I always liked all the, all the corporations, all the malls because I want to be privy towards or privy on. I'm not sure which one. Privy to, privy towards the happenings and all those activities that these malls, uh put out like tomorrow Bajai Times Square is going to have uh, some kind of uh, what do you call that word you know the trend that we, they have now uh, uh, mannequin challenge yeah mannequin challenge 6.45 p.m. Bajai Times Square tomorrow first 120 people there will get a goodie something which is a useless goodie it's just stupid stuff but so, it's the experience that I want to give me an excuse to go out lah, okay that's the most important thing so and today Sunway Velocity strangely enough says uh, in the Facebook oh today today itself come to Sunway Velocity because we have a, a Chinese from China yes Chinese from China that's why I like to call them because Chinese all over the world you say Chinese does not mean they are from China it's, it means they are oriental people from some place not only China there's Chinese from Singapore, there are Chinese from Malaysia, Chinese Americans, Chinese British, or what they call that, uh, BOT, British Overseas Born, Born, uh, Chinese British Over, shit, what was that term, that insult for Chinese born in the Brits, in, in, in Britain, uh, it's a very derogatory term for Chinese people born in, in Britain, I forgot already, it's been many, many years, so, what was I saying? Oh, Chinese people, they are, they are Australian Chinese. So I have to like be more specific. The Chinese badminton star, a female fe uh, fella from China. She's not that pretty, but it's a celebrity, the star power of her. If I knew that she was coming, at least I would come in as in C-O-M-I-N-G, not C-U-M-M-I-N-G, okay? Just get it, get it straight, okay? So if I knew she was coming in some way velocity, Sorry, not coming in Sunway Velocity. Coming to Sunway Velocity because coming in Velocity is as if I'm saying that she's having an orgasm in Sunway Velocity Mall which is sounds kinky and might be sexually fulfilling for her. So she was in... Uh, of course, she's not that fappable, okay? She's not that pretty but given no choice if you are on an island and she's the only one there, would you rather fuck the coconut or fuck a female person of course you choose the female person right unless there was a stranded seal on the beach and the seal is wheeling why not 
if there's a goat on an island why not if you share it or you like make it known to other people of this disgusting bloody picture I will unfollow so that's my we lock to sleeps but or what not it's not supposed to go into all the uh, Sony experience and stuff but it happens and I love Sony man fucking hell Sony is the best man I love it Sony please have more of these experiences because at the action cam in IOI City Mall my god that's a great experience my god I wish I had more time to play or use the facilities of District 21 because I would love to climb up the wall uh, even though they fucked up my triceps for like say one week because my triceps were fucked doing that one activity that scared the shit out of me then made me cry like a girl if the girl were to shout fuck while going around the ceiling my god if Comic Fiesta Day 2 wasn't around, I would have spent more time going through all those intensive things, you know, those uh, climbing walls and whatnot and scuba diving, no, not scuba diving, uh, all those things there in District 21. Sony Experience, Sony is the greatest company ever in Malaysia. I love you, Sony. I love you. And Sony, if you, uh, if you watch this video, right, I sure, I'm sure you did not watch this video, but... If you if happenstance that you did right there's never a possibility of zero percent of you not watching my my videos you know that model that wore a sports bra you know there are two always two models going to the stage going on the stage one is a Chinese there's only one Chinese girl in sports bra so she and the Caucasian both of them sports sporty ones I think the Chinese girl had a racket, whereas the other Caucasian girl with sports bra and tight leggings, you know, the Caucasian girl, please employ her again because damn man, she's a, she's a, what do you call, what's that word, she's a keeper, I love Sony, Sony, I love you, oh one more thing, is Sony, I love that, Handycam, the A AXP 5i or AXP 55. Please sponsor me, man. I'm gonna use all my videos using your AXP 55. You already said. I mean, Mr. Rosley has already said. I'm I'm unprofessional. I want to be professional with 4K video capabilities because I know I'm professional. I am definitely a professional. So sponsor me that camera, and I will love you long time. And definitely, I'm going to like promote the hell out of your AXP 55. I love you, Sony. Sony Experience. Love you long time.